What's up, Facebook Live? So it's 6.15 about, and I think a bunch of you are just getting out of work. Some of you are probably stuck in traffic, surfing Facebook, and now you're going to be watching this because you got nothing better to do because, again, you're stuck in traffic. Uh, well, I am sitting. I'm just waiting, waiting for some sushi. But I came across this idea of where people who work really hard sometimes don't always get paid. Now, I read a story where... There was a locksmith. And imagine imagine you got locked out of your car. If you got locked out of your car and you called a locksmith to open up your car and he came out and he was like, boop, and he popped open, popped open your door and it took him, say, five minutes. All of five minutes. Boop. And then he gave you a bill. And that bill was for 200 bucks. You'd be like, oh my God, you just charged me 200 bucks for five minutes of work. You would actually feel ripped off, even though he got you the result you wanted faster, right? And that also happens with uh, different contractors. Contractors who are really good, who can knock out something because they're really skilled. A person will feel ripped off that you charge them $1,000 for the job and it only took you, say, four hours. They'll be like, oh my God, how'd you charge me $1,000? Well, it's because, you know, they're not valuing your skill, right? They just value this hard work stuff. And it it's kind of silly that we have to, like, work so hard, even though we provide the result that the person is looking for. We have to, like, pretend to work hard in order to to show that we're, we're worth the amount of money we're charging. It's so ridiculous. The, the story really was where... Um, a guy, when he first became a, a locksmith, and he was trying this pick and that pick and this airbag and everything, and he was sweating, he was trying all these different things, and it took him like an hour to open up the door. And by the end of it, and the person is just standing there watching him, they not only paid him the money, but they gave him a tip because he worked so hard. And then as he progressed in his career, and he got better, and he was able to do it faster, open your door in two minutes people would complain when they gave when he gave them the bill it's so silly it's so so silly I used to be a manager for a construction company and I used to come I used to have to come in before the contractors and the contractors start at seven as you know I used to have to come in before the contractors and leave way after the contractors the contractors came in at seven and checked out at three I had to come in before 7, but it was a, a no-no if you left before 5. So I came in at 6 and left after 5. That's 11 to 12 hours at minimum there. And most of the time, I was just like twiddling my thumbs. I'm like, guys, the fucking contractors already went home. What am I doing here? So it just, I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't make any sense. That's why I like what I do, right? I get paid on results. I get paid to deliver, and nobody dictates that, right? When I finish the apartment, when I'm done rehabbing the place, nobody, like, the faster the better, right? The faster the better. They don't want me to drag my feet, but then actually there's nobody who would want me to drag my feet. There's no boss. There's no gatekeeper. It's just me delivering products that add value to the world. So you guys might be at a place where... You're like sitting there at your job and you're like, what the fuck, man? I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Uh, yeah, so that's how society, that's just how society is. It's crazy. Uh, there was another cute story. Uh, there was a boat that was broken down and they hired all the mechanics all over the place and every mechanic tried to come and fix it, but it couldn't do it. Then they hired this old man and he came in and he looked around and he listened and he's like, oh. And then he tapped this one little thing and then the engine started right up. Later, they got a bill for $10,000. Like $10,000, all he did was tap it, right? And so they're like, give us an itemized bill. And the itemized bill said, tapping on the right spot, $5. Uh, knowing where to tap, $9,995. So I'd rather just get paid for knowing a whole bunch of cool stuff and having people appreciate that. And you know who appreciates that the most? 
the economy. They don't care to see how much work I've put in. They don't care how hard I work at it. They just care for the results. They care that I put out this good product that they can benefit from right now. I get paid because people benefit. Plain and simple. That's how I like it. So I don't have to work so hard. I just have to be very effective at what I do. So if you like to work that way, and you just like to be paid on being effective, maybe you wanna be a real estate investor or some kind of investor, I don't know, whatever. So that's my, that's my little rant as I'm sitting here waiting for my wife to bring some sushi. So yeah, I'm in the passenger side, see, no steering wheel. All right, so that's all. Michael Parks, you missed it all. Video's over. Peace. Go back to work, work harder. Just kidding, that was the opposite of this video.